When people come here to a workshop, they'll learn how to read a cartoon, which is the basic paper pattern that they'll be following. They get to choose some glass, and I try to make sure that they have a reasonable supply of colours and textures and how to use them. And um, then they have to learn how to cut the glass, which is easy enough to cut, but it's the accuracy that becomes the problem and takes time and practice. But fortunately, we have grinders and things that make life a bit easier. There's the introduction to all of the tools, the grosses, the running pliers, the, the cutting uh, tools. Then, of course, they've got to learn how to lead up after they've finished that, and then to soldering it and then to cleaning it all up, puttying it, polishing it, making a big mess, and then it looks beautiful. <laughs> they can take it home. So they have a product to take home each time. Because I'm largely self-taught, if you like, because I didn't have a lot of free time, I used to do it at night, so I've made every mistake that's possible, probably. <laughs> I don't feel worried about other people making it. And if they turned out to be as good as I am after half a day, I'd be really upset. <laughs> Doesn't look very much, but there's a lot of work goes into that in two days. And they're exhausted. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, it feels like quite an achievement, I think, when you've spent two full days working towards something and you see it completed and looking pretty good. I feel fantastic. I'm ready to start a lead lighting business. <laughs> Lynn was great to work with. She really was very patient, um, didn't treat any of us like we were idiots. And um, yeah, I'm thrilled, totally thrilled.